is this? are you? Postal carrier Maxwell Briggs. Briggs? Maxwell Briggs disappeared on this route 30 years ago. That's incredible. 30 years? That means I'm retired. Whoopee! Easy, easy. easy. As soon as I deliver this mail... What happened to you? I was walking my route. And I came to this house. I heard a rustling in the bushes, and I went to investigate. I was standing right about where you are now, or where you were a minute ago. Do the Adamses still live here? Here's your mail. Some of the bills might be a little overdue. is over 30 years old. Ah, how wonderfully inefficient. Ah, here's a package for you, Gomez. Ooh. Here's one for you, Fester. Wow, my flying hyena remote control model plane kit. Boy, I sure had to save a lot of gunpowder box tops for this. I remember, you blew our room up 20 times over just to save enough. Gomez, what did you get? Oh, wow, it's my lost shipment of super duper balls. Come on, Fester, let's go see if they still have their bounce. How many did you get? One, two, three, <laughs> lots. Oh. Cool. Ready, set, go. It's taking you longer to beat me every day. Hello, Wednesday. How was school today? Any notes from the teacher you want to forge our signatures on? No, just a new assignment. I'm supposed to write an essay on an influential family member. Say no more! What would you like to ask me? What do you know about Great Aunt Esther? The first witch in the family. Wonderful choice. I think we have some of her old belongings up in the attic. That will help me prepare. Granny is conducting a seance tonight so I can interview her personally. Another game, mon cher. Tsh, that's French. Gomez, I've been thinking. Remember when Mama tried to raise the spirit of Ant Hill? We were infested for months. At least they were fire-breathing ants. When she fails to bring back Aunt Esther, as she inevitably will, the poor dear will be heartbroken. Wednesday's a stalwart child. I wasn't talking about Wednesday. Oh, I see your point. <sighs> must find some way to ensure that Mama's seance is a success. You mean hire an expert medium. Oh. Or maybe even a large. Hmm? I know. We'll fake it. Even better! It doesn't look anything like it shows in the box. I can't believe I saved all those box tops for this. I should have gotten that home chemistry set. Nothing says fun like mustard gas. This is so lame. Oh, maybe if I make a few modifications. Fester, Mama is planning on calling on the spirit of Great Aunt Esther tonight. Oh, 
I hope she calls collect. Great Aunt Esther was the cheapest witch in Salem. We were hoping you would help us contrive a fake seance. Of course, it is devious, underhanded, and sneaky. Count me in! And I've got just what you need. <laughs> My fake seance kit. Raise the dead for fun and profit. Now all we have to do is find a dress that will fit you. Me? I thought you were going to be Great Aunt Esther. I would, darling, but you already have the mustache. Everyone, join hands. And close your eyes. I work alone. Sorry. And close your eyes. Oh, great spirits, we seek one of your number. Please find great Aunt Esther and wake her from her slumber! Esther Adams, if you're here, make your presence crystal clear. I couldn't pull it off. We just thought you might need a little help. It would have worked if Gomez hadn't broken the circle. Actually, it did work. <laughs> oh, brother. Who's that? Mama's brother. <laughs> <laughs> but then, then there was a time Amelia Earhart asked me for directions. <laughs> I don't know why he still gets lost with the same old material. <laughs> oh, good master, you were always the king of practical jokes. <laughs> Get him all blackouts, stock market crashes, that whole Titanic iceberg thing. <laughs> <laughs> but my favorite one has to still be the finger. <laughs> you got to show that one to Morticia. Go ahead, my dear. Pull my finger. That's all right. Let Fester do it. Ladies first. <laughs> it's great to have a ghost around the house. <laughs> it's a classic. <laughs> Wednesday, I found something that might help you with your report at Esther's old diary. Too bad. I was looking forward to making it all up. Monday, June 2nd, 1692. They have discovered I'm a witch and plan to prove it by tossing me into the lake. That's odd. I thought Aunt Esther was burned at the stake. Sorry, I couldn't resist. <laughs> it's a classic. <laughs> That's the last Sidewinder missile, Pugsley. That ought to do it. Let's see how she flies, Uncle Fester. <laughs> How do you expect it to crash, Pugsley, if you keep swerving all the time? I'm not. She's not responding to the controls, Uncle Fester. <laughs> well, if you're not flying it, then who is? <laughs> <laughs> and 
and it was worth the wait. Good night, Kirita. Gomez. Excuse me. I enjoy a good practical joke as much as the next person, but I'm beginning to see why Mama got fed up with Uncle Jester. I'll talk to her first thing in the morning about arranging an elaborate plan to have him sent back to the hereafter. Thank you, darling. Unpleasant dreams. Let the bed bugs bite! <laughs> Couldn't get a nice headless horseman. Early ghost catches the worm. <laughs> someone come crashing down the stairs? Ah, Gomez, my boy. I mean, darling. You're just the man I've been looking for. Say no more. I've already spoken with Mama. We're going to have another seance tonight to exercise Jester. Actually, I've been thinking about that. Uh, perhaps I was a little hasty. I mean, Jester does have a certain je ne sais quoi. <gasps> Tish, it's French. Hey, what with the kissing, buddy? I mean, not now, dear. I want you to go find Uncle Jester and invite him to stay as long as he'd like. What well, makes you unhappy, Kirita? Thank you, my dear. Now I must go accept your husband's gracious invitation to invite me to stay here forever. <laughs> You know, it was funny the first 400 times, but if I have to pull Uncle Jester's finger one more time... Tisha? Oh, dear. I had the strangest dream. What am I doing down here? Mission accomplished, Kirita. What mission? I invited Uncle Jester to stay, just like you asked. I never asked you to do that. No one would ask you to do that. <laughs> invited a ghost to stay in your home? Now, not even a seance will get rid of him. Thanks a lot, Gomez. There must be someone who can help. We need someone who specializes in ghost removal. But who you gonna call? Ghost toasters. Uh. <laughs> ah, a pair of parapsychologists. Thank you for coming over so quickly. I'm Gomez Adams, this is my fascinating brother Fester, and my lovely wife Morticia. Well, uh, I'm Lloyd Barker, this is my wife Julie. Oh, who is also very lovely. <laughs> I see you have a lot of experience with this sort of thing. Well, we have been on Oprah. Oh, careful with that, that's my plasma gun. Oh, what does it do? It traps a ghost within the confines of an energy field. Theoretically. And normally we're not so inhospitable, but this particular spirit can be rather annoying. Don't worry about a thing. Your, Your ghost, ghost is, is toast. toast. Oh, perfect place for a haunting. We try to make it homey. Well, this is where he likes to hang out. Great. So, what usually triggers the aberration? Is there a regular time or pattern? Well, he's not very punctual, but he never misses X-Files. And there are certain things he simply can't resist. Here, hold this. Julie! What? Did you see that? An outside force pushed that pie right into my face. Did you get it on tape? Boy, no one ever buys that old trick. It wasn't me this time, I swear. He's right! I did it! <laughs> Lloyd, 
Lloyd? Julie? I'd like to have you meet Uncle Jester, our ghost. Oh, that's no ghost. That's just some guy in a goofy costume. What is this, some kind of a joke? Well, I should think that was obvious. I couldn't resist the old pie in the face. It's a classic! <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Adams, we didn't come here to waste our time. We have better things to do than be the butt of your pranks. <laughs> We're the creative consultants on the new Casper movie. Please, don't go. Stay a while and look around. I think they'd never seen a ghost before. You're right, Gomez. This is relaxing. There's nothing like a good explosion to help clear the mind. To say nothing of the room. Darn that, Chester! I can see it isn't going to be easy getting used to having a ghost around the house. Maybe we won't have to. I have a plan. Ooh. Ah, querida, there's nothing like a quiet moonlit stroll. Yes, I do hope Uncle Jester doesn't bother us. Oh, look, Gomez, your shoes are untied. How unfortunate it would be if someone were to tie them together. Tish, is that a rubber chicken? Yes. Gomez, look. A seltzer bottle. Sorry, my boy, I couldn't resist. <laughs> I know, I know. It's a classic. So's the trap. What trap? This trap. What are you doing? Don't even try. It's an impenetrable force field. We're not letting you out until you promise to go haunt someone else and never return. Isn't that a bit drastic? Couldn't he at least come back for the holidays? Well, all right. For April Fool's Day. Really? No, April Fool's. Oh. Hang on to her, Gomez. She's some lady. That's no lady. That's my wife. Thanks for bringing me back, sis. It was an accident. <laughs> <laughs> Wednesday, I'm sorry for ruining your research seance. That's all right. I decided to pick Father as my most influential relative. He's not a witch, but at least my report will be short. Wednesday, I'm touched. Well, let me start at the beginning. I was born on a cold, wet morn. It was still right, Huxley. I want you to have this. Wow, Uncle Jester, your plastic vomit. Thanks. I'll treasure it always. Well, I'm off. Places to haunt, people to scare. <laughs> oh, no. He forgot his luggage. Sure. <laughs> I'll bring it to him. Chester is a ghost. Why would he need luggage? <laughs> he certainly left us holding the bag. the right thing, sending Uncle Chester away. It's a big world out there, Kirita. Someone has to haunt it. We interrupt this broadcast with important news. In what appears to be the largest practical joke ever, Mount Rushmore was defaced last night with four enormous cream pies. Now back to our program. The world's biggest practical joke. Good old Uncle Chester. This calls for a toast. 
towering large. It's a classic! Mysterious and spooky, they're all together ooky, the Adams family, the house is a museum, when people come to see them, they really are a scream, the Adams family, the Adams family, the Adams family, oh. 